Welcome back to Bob's Magic Emporium. It's time for the next all new Magical Mondays. The show where I bring you a brand new magic video every single Monday. I have a pretty awesome trick for today. This is one, another one I got for Christmas. This is the, on my opinion, I got two from Tenyo's 2015 line. And this is probably the best one. Even out of the two I didn't get, they didn't impress me very much. Like when I was reading the description, I'm like, eh. But this has to be, and in a lot of Tenyo collectors' opinions, the best one out of their 2015 collection. So let me go through it, and I'll do my full review at the end. So I have here a little specimen case. And we'll get to that specimen case. Notice that it's empty. We'll get to it in just a moment. So I have here four cards with pictures of butterflies on them. And uh, I have a red butterfly, a blue one, a yellow one, and a green one. Hopefully you can see that in this light. I don't know. It might be a little hard to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one card to the bottom, just like this. And I'm going to do that a couple times. When you feel inclined to, you tell me stop wherever you'd like. Just tell me stop wherever you'd like. Right there? Are you sure? All right, you're sure. All right, the bottom card is yours then. The blue butterfly. Hmm. The blue butterfly. That's impressive. So I have that specimen case. Now let me just show you a little cool little bit of magic here. You just give it a little shake like that. And that makes a blue butterfly appear right there inside of the specimen case. And that is the butterfly effect from Tenyo. All uh, right, a really fun trick. Uh, this is a lot of fun to do. Uh, I, I love it. I think it's one of the best out of the 2015. I got another one. It's the credit card one. If you've seen it like on Penguin Magic, the, the 2015 Tenyo line, it's the credit card one. Not as impressed. This is the best one. The other two did not impress me at all. When I was reading the description, I'm like, no, thank you. But um, no, this is a really fun one. Uh, the only thing is, there's not a very clear way to produce the butterfly. Uh, you need the specimen case. Now in the directions to produce the butterfly, you have to use the specimen case, but they give you this really awkward like a paper cardboard box kind of thing. It's a box that's very flimsy. When I put it together, I'm like, this thing is not even, it's like not even made of thick paper. It's like thin paper, so it doesn't stand together. And what they want you to do is this series of complex moves and using the box, and it seemed awkward. Now, they give you another uh, way to produce the butterfly, but again, I find that awkward too. So I know probably the way I produced it wasn't the best it could have been, but I found that the two ways they gave you in the directions aren't the best ways because one way I was like, oh, they're going to be able to see you produce this butterfly this way. I'm like, they're gonna, the audience will catch on how they, the one way how you produce it. Using the black box though, because it was such a terrible quality box in my opinion, I thought, you know what? No, I'm not going to use the box either. Uh, there, there was a thing I think I saw, who did I see do it? It was Andrew Main, I think, or somebody. Anyways, there was a uh, product review for this, for Penguin Magic, where uh, the guy who was doing it, oh, I can't remember his name. I know somebody's going to comment below and tell me who it is, which is fine. Uh, said they don't even use the butterfly cards, and they just use this as like a as a appearance effect, which you can also do that too. He took a blue like handkerchief or silk, he covered the he covered it, and when he lifted it up, it had transformed into or there was a blue butterfly now in the box. Um, it was really cool, but I think that way needed a little more storyline added to it, like why a blue butterfly? You know, it, I mean, like this way using the cards. You know, the spectator thinks they choose that they, they can choose any butterfly. You know, instead of you just saying, oh, make a, watch this, blue uh, blue butterfly. So that was kind of weird. But I do love the trick. I, it does get good reaction. I love it. It's great. I highly recommend this um, butterfly effect by Tenyo because it's really fun. And I think you'll get a lot of use. Sorry, that was my counter back there if you heard that noise. That was a, but it, it, it gets, I think you'll get a lot of use out of it. It's a really fun trick. And it doesn't take up much pocket space either, which is great. It's just the cards. And if you don't do the black box thing, it's the cards and the, uh, and the little uh, specimen case. So that's going to do it for today's uh, Magical Mondays. Make sure to join me right here at Bob's Magic Emporium. Hopefully next Monday I will have the next 
Tenyo trick that I'll be revealing, the T187, T187 Mini Metamorphosis trick. Uh, it's supposed to come tomorrow, is what the uh, is what eBay is expected is is told me it was expected to come tomorrow. So we'll see if it does. If it does, I'm doing an unboxing for it. You definitely want to watch for that on my channel. Uh, I'll upload that tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching, and join me next Monday. Hopefully, I'll do the T187 product review and of course demo. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next Monday. If you'd like to see more awesome content, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. New videos are posted every day of the week. Also, check out my website and register so you can post in the forums, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, like me on Facebook, add me to your Google Plus circles, and check out my merchandise store to pick up some awesome swag. 444RR, game shows, magic, and more.